Well, yes, I've seen him running round the village like a madman. From place to place, hither to thither. Now he's chopping down trees like a veritable beaver. What's he doing with all that wood, I wonder? Hopefully, bringing it to us. We've had a real shortage of wood since Woody the Witch Chopper left. Ah, Woody. Rest in peace. Well, maybe this stranger can help us in the end. Ah, <sighs> right. Time for some writing. The mountains in front of him. The old farm to his back. The way forward before him. His old life calling him. Whispering in his ear to return. Oh, that voice was so sweet now. He could feel his memories, smell the warm bread on a festival morning. He could taste the rich meat and the sweet fruit, and he could hear the calls of his brother and sister. He would get it all back when the fibers returned. No, they would not return. Those days were gone. The crash had taken them, and they were lost. I knew it would be like this. Are you just gonna stand there, staring into spice all day, taking up our oxygen, eating all our food? Uh, I grow my own food, actually. On our land? If you're not going to contribute to the community, we don't want you. Now get lost. What am I even doing here? Maybe I should leave. Well, I'll find the Fletchers down here, but I was kind of hoping to talk to Arthur first. Everyone else is just super weird. He's the only one that's actually been helpful. And I'm feeling kind of lost. Ah, he's not in. Okay, I'm sure he's just meeting someone else. I'll wait here. Arthur? Arthur? Oh, well, oh, 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 it's you, Jack. Have you been waiting here? Everything okay, son? No, not really. Uh, uh, what's bothering you, boy? I'm lost, Arthur. I had this grand vision for coming here, for finally sitting down and doing some writing, but... I just don't seem to fit in. These things take time, lad. Well, yeah, but... I was in this other place. Right? Before Cherry Ring. This... bad thing happened, and I had to drop everything and, and leave. You ran away? No! That wasn't another option. If I stayed, everything I've written so far would have been lost. All I've worked for would have been... burned. What is it that you are asking? I don't fit in here. After I left the other place, I scrounged together everything I had and bought the tavern. I thought I'd be able to get back into writing, but now I'm here and no one wants me here. It's just you and the donkeys. Oh, Jack, the others are scared of you. You're a stranger. One that's likely to get them in trouble with Lord Inkend. I get that. I don't want to get them in trouble. I just 
need some help to realize my life goal. I'm not having the impact on the world I want, and the other villagers seem content as they are and just want me to pack up and leave. Yeah, everything here may look pretty and merry, Jack, but their need for you is great. Your ability to help them, if you can but humble yourself, is magnitudes greater. I'm not the guy you think I am. I don't want to help people. I can't even help myself. <sighs> Wait here, lad. I don't have much. But I think I may have something that can help. Here we go. Oh, an enchantment book. Neat. Fortune three. That's a pretty high enchantment. Where'd you get it? Um, though, actually... It doesn't really matter. I, I can't use it. I don't have any gear. I can't even get five feet into that damn ancient cave. Take it anyway, and maybe later on, when you've grown wiser than I am, you'll know how to bless others with its magic. I really can't use that enchantment right now. But... What is that sound? That's my bed! This is getting ridiculous. Let's just get the book. Get out of here. All right, here goes nothing. I guess it'll just waste away in a chest. Arthur! Oh, well, here you go. Thanks, Arthur. Like I said, I, I can't use this now, but I'll try to think of something. I know you will. Give it time, boy. Yeah. Remember, humble. Yeah, I know, Arthur. Humble myself. Right. Their need for me. No one here has any need for me. I have a need for them. I need some emeralds so I can start trading with these guys. Hello. I hear you guys are the local Fletchers. I'm Jack. I just wondered if there was anything you needed. Nice to meet you, Jack. That's Bill. And I'm Ben. Your ever eager Fletcher friends. Wow, okay. You two seem much more pleasant than the rest of the people here. What? Them? Oh, don't worry about them. A boil of pansies is what they are. Bring us sticks. And we'll be happy to the end of our days. Right. Okay. As many sticks as I can find, I'm bringing you two. I'll be right back. Looks like we're going on a stick hunt. The best trees for sticks, I think, is probably dark oak trees, because they're a four by four, right? And so, reinvigorated with finally having an aim in life, I departed on an adventure to gather Dark Oak saplings. Is this the beginning of the Dark Oak saga? Or is it just some wood gathering that I edited mostly out of the video? Chopping down trees is way better than mining. You're always waiting for that diamond, for that piece of iron, but tree chopping, you get exactly what you want every time. Piece of wood. Piece of wood. Piece of wood. Sun's going down. Probably time to head back. Maybe the Mushroom Island. No mobs there. And food. Perfect. Off we go. 
I was venturing towards the Mushroom Island when some lights underwater caught my eye. There may be more to explore around this island in the near future. I definitely need to get a bunch of gear ready before tackling this one. And with the number of saplings that we collected, we should just be able to build this huge orchard that we took. Zombie villager, come on. Okay, don't worry, little fella. We're gonna save you. Ow. Uh, let's dig a hole. Dig a hole. Come on, over here, into the nice dirt hole. Don't eat me. Dang. Oh, easy peasy. Okay, you need to pick something up. They despawn, right, if they don't hold something. Uh, have some mushroom stew. Here you go. Okay, he's not picking anything up, and he'll probably despawn, but we're just going to leave him there because to spend all of our day just trying to save that guy when we don't even have a name tag and he's not picking anything up. Maybe he doesn't want to be saved. Maybe that's it. Life has become too difficult for him. You haven't been talking to him, have you? Uh, no, I know Lord Inkend doesn't want any strangers getting in his way. Good, good. You've always been one of the good ones. That senile librarian, on the other hand, running his mouth to that imbecile that bought the old tavern. Lord Ingend has plans for him. <laughs> Can you hear that? He's talking. Don't ask questions you don't want to know the answer to. Oh. <laughs> that was one of the shiftiest things I've ever seen in this game. Well, I guess we'll find out what that was about later. This place just keeps getting weirder and weirder. I had gathered saplings, grown trees, chopped down trees, and turned the wood into sticks. Now I needed someone to buy the sticks from me. Where had the Fletchers gone whilst I was away? Finally, I found Ben. I'm giving you all the sticks I have there. Oh, thank you. This will hopefully get you to a state where you are willing to trade an enchanted bow with me. I really need one for the cave that I can't get into. We'll do our best, man. Power to Unbreaking 3. Yeah. I need infinity! What's wrong with that? Bill, you're my only hope. I'm ready. You get the rest of the sticks. If you can just give me infinity. That's all I need. I'll do just my best. Infinity. One enchantment. Please. Last sticks. This is the moment. Infinity. Ready? And breaking one. That's worse than Ben. Well, getting an infinity enchanted bow was a real fail. I'm still out here in the rain, chopping trees turning wood to planks, planks to sticks, what feels like days now, in the hope that maybe they're going to give me some enchanted arrows. Let's go see, they should be at the good enough level now. If they don't give me some useful enchanted arrows, then I don't know what I'm going to do. Go on a village murder spree? Well, that was a waste of time. <clears throat> Gosh, it's wet out here. 
I hate rain in Minecraft. It always makes me feel kind of... Oh. Oh. Another zombie... Whoa. That wasn't the librarian. That wasn't Arthur, was it? Is he in here? Arthur! Arthur! Are you in here? Arthur! My goodness. Did he just get turned into a zombie? Why? He was the only guy that was help- Arthur! No. He was the only guy that was helpful. Goodness, I'm gonna have to fill in this hole. I really hope it wasn't Arthur. It was the only guy who was actually nice to me. We'll find out in the morning. <laughs>